I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on limits. We are talking about transcendental functions. Here I have taken trigonometric functions. The question here is to show that the limit for limit x approaches 0, sin of 1 over x does not exist. Now that's a very important question. Fairly basic question. We could have asked this in so many different ways. We could say for sin x, limit x approaches infinity, right? We could have also, uh, instead of sine, we could have said cos, right? Cos of 1 over x, limit x approaches 0, right? Or we could say uh, limit x approaches, we could write positive or negative infinity, right? For cos of x. So all the answers will be same. What I'm trying to say here is that for trigonometric functions, when you are approaching the limits on the right-hand side or the left-hand side, what is going to be the result? That is what we are going to discuss, right? Since I want to provide you with a solution which works for sine or cosine, what I will do here is just create a sine wave, right? So we have a sine wave here. So let's say this is a sine wave, right? Right. So that is a sine wave, right? So, and we know this sine wave or a cosine wave, a trigonometric function for that matter, varies from positive 1 to negative 1. So basically this function oscillates. Correct? So if we have a sine theta, then the value is between minus 1 and plus 1, right? Depending on whatever is the theta value. That is the basic concept based on which we can answer all these questions, correct? Does it make sense to you? Okay. Now, we'll now specifically talk about the question given here. You could apply the same approach. So, we have to show that limit x approaches 0 for sine of 1 over x. Now, when we say x approaches 0, we could approach it from the negative side, that means from the left, or we could think about limit when x approaches 0 from the right side for sine of 1 over x. The idea is to check whether they are same or not. Correct? So, if they are same, they will have that, that particular limit if the limit exists. Right? That is the whole idea. Okay. So, we will work it in two parts. Now, when I say that we are looking into 0 from the left side, now what I will do here is, uh, since we are talking about sine function, now I am going to change my diagram. That becomes my axis. And this is your sine function now. Perfect. Okay. Now, when we are saying that we are approaching from the left side, that means we are approaching from this side, right? So, we are approaching from the left side. That is this part. So, you could say that this value is kind of 0 minus h. You can think about 0 minus h where h is approaching 0, right? Where h is approaching 0. You could write like this. You get the concept, right? So, so we'll change this question and we'll write this as limit. h approaches 0 for sine of 1 over. Now, we are saying instead of x, we are writing x as 0 minus h, where, where now x is approaching 0. You get the idea, right? So, uh, so the x value is very, very close to the origin 0, but it is on the left side. So, that minus h gives you that concept. Is that clear? So, basically, for this particular function, which we are saying f of x, what we did was that we wrote what is f of 0 minus h. You get the idea, right? So, so when I replace x with 0 minus h, in that case, x gets replaced with 0 minus h and the limit, which was x approaching 0 minus, now becomes h approaching 0. Perfect? So, 
So let me just uh, once again show you this part. What am I saying here? We are saying x equals to 0 minus h. Is it okay? So that is what we are making. Now we had that x is approaching 0 minus. So what is h approaching? That is what we are looking at. So h approaches what? Right? So h approaches 0, right? When x is approaching 0 minus, h approaches or minus h, right? So that is what is the case, correct? So we are replacing this with a value which is on the left side of origin. Is that part clear to you, right? So that's a key to prove this. So now we could write this as limit h approaching 0. Now that becomes sine of minus. This is sine of minus 1 over h. So it is minus of limit h approaching 0 for sine of 1 over h. Correct? Now when h is uh, 0, then 1 over h is infinitely large. right? So, so what are we trying to say here? We are trying to say minus limit sine approach some value which is infinitely large, right? So because 1 over h is infinitely large value. So, so we are trying to approach a point on this side, very, very large value. Now what we notice here is that that point could be anywhere between plus 1 and minus 1. Do you see that? So it oscillates. So that means we are not sure. We are not sure. So we say it is not defined. You get the idea. So when you are approaching from the left side, it is not defined. So it, this was on the left side, correct? Now let's look into the right side. So on the right side, we are going to use the same concept and we can write this as, as limit when x is approaching when we say 0 plus h, right? So you can say something more. You get the idea, right? So we are now approaching from the right side. That is what we are trying to say. So we are on the right side now. Correct? So when we think about this, we could write the whole statement as limit h approaching 0, right? for sine of 1 over h. So what we did here was we replaced this by x approaching 0 plus something, some small value, where h is very, very small. h is approaching 0. So basically you are approaching 0 from the right side. I hope that helps you to understand better, right? So think about this. So that is approaching from the right side. So we have a small value h, we are, which is definitely not 0, but approaching 0. So it is from, from the right. So it is a positive value. Does make sense to you, right? So in this case, you're thinking about approaching on this side, right? So you are thinking about approaching on this side. Now this side, you could be anywhere in between this interval. Is that okay? So again, it oscillates. between plus 1 and minus 1. Do you see that? And therefore not defined. So in such questions, you know, we could have had uh, uh, 0 with, we could have limit x approaches 0 plus, do you understand, for sine of 1 over x. Or we could have limit when x approaches 0 minus for cos of 1 over x, the answer will be not defined. And the reason is, reason is simple, oscillating between, normally we write minus 1 and plus 1. Is it okay? Between these two values. So, so with that, we kind of understand what happens to the limit 
of these trigonometric functions, the basic trigonometric functions, when we are talking about x approaching 0 or infinity, as the case may be, as you've seen, right? So if you are saying 0, we are writing this as 1 over x. If we are saying infinity, we are writing cos x or sin x. Is that clear to you? So that is how we are going to answer all these questions. I hope that helps, okay? So now let's take